back in the early 1990s, uh, the status of lynx in Maine was unknown, and uh, it was thought that there was very few breeding pairs of lynx. And a lot of the uh, work in the early 2000s that was done at the University of Maine and partially funded through J.D. Irving through the, Canadian, the Cooperative Forestry uh, Unit at the University of Maine proved that lynx populations were very high and they were linked to the forest management activities that had gone on, partially as a result of a lot of the spruce budworm uh, epidemic in the 1980s and the resultant very uh, young and very dense forest which provides cover for uh, the snowshoe hare which is 90% of the lynx's diet. You need some areas for lynx to den and our um, old forest policy, uh, riparian zones and protected zones and, and uh, unique areas provide the cover for lynx um, in the form of, of blown down trees uh, for them to have their den sites. So it's a matter of uh, managing the forest as a whole. Uh, you know, looking at landscape level management uh, for uh, a lot of the different animal species. In recent years, um, although the studies uh, mostly terminated in the mid-2000s, our staff, which is out in the field every day, our contractors, are seeing lynx tracks, they're seeing their sighting lynx almost on a weekly basis, um, and, and they make notes that uh, you know, this is the most uh, can of lynx they've ever seen uh, in the routine work of their jobs. And that's great anecdotal evidence to tell us that the lynx populations are thriving in a uh, managed forest environment. Mm -hmm.